Blue, I've known you, known about you, known of you for over 10 years. Uh, your cartoon from uh, Psy 10 Atheist is, I think that's how I, you know, you were in the atheist community. I was in the atheist community apparently and stuff and things. And you did Jason Burns videos and they were pretty funny. And we had a lot of times where we'd make fun of Stinky and we've had some good times. There's also been a few times where, uh, well, folks, we've, we've had our problems being blue over the years and uh, we've blown up at each other. We've had our differences. There's been a few times, seriously, folks, where Blue uh, has swore that he would never speak to me, never talk to me again, never be my friend. There's at least three times. And each time, this is for real this time, and he always came back because we had Von Helton, Shani and Rev, a lot of things that people like to make fun of. And I, I, I make fun of things, have a good time in my own unique way. And it's spit me in the ass a couple of times, I admit. Uh, and, and both times, it was my fault me it was you know and uh blue there's a time when people learn about a lot of things sometimes it, you sometimes you learn in time sometimes it happens all at once sometimes it takes longer than others sometimes you never know when you're going to expect it to finally click. And what I mean by it is, first, say, dude, slow down. Slow the fuck down. Because I know you, boo. You're, you're high strung, you know. Stinky thinks you're, you know, he's, he's got your docs, you know, you've been, you've been tagged, you've been tagged, and you're, just like me, Mudbrucker called me a loose cannon one time, and, you know, you're a bit of one yourself, in a different way, a bit psychotic at times, you go off the rails. And I make fun of a lot of things. I have a good time, I make cartoons with Peter Griffin pointing a rifle out of We uh, actually do. The lights are in. Here's the wand. It's double-edged. It's engraved. Real leather workmanship. This thing is handy dandy. It works well. And Stinky's got a surprise for him. And that's good. Well, not for Stinky. For everybody else. At least for me. Makes me happy. Our magic is more powerful than yours, Stinky. Your magic is no match. It's not gonna happen. Lobsters. Deathmatch. We've been training, Stinky. And don't forget, Still have this one too. And the extension. Don't forget that. But we're not here to talk about Stinky tonight, folks. That's going to come in time. Blue. There's a reason certain people don't like others, for example. If you put 50 people in a room, there's going to be people in a room that ah, just don't get along. I try to get along with people. I really do. You know, I, I've <laughs> learned over the years to, you know, going on different streams, how to turn on and grampy lobster a little higher or lower. I try to 
you know, gauge, you know, where I'm going. And it's a struggle at times. Um, lost my mind for a minute. <laughs> but that's okay. When you go into certain streams, there's different topics people talk about. There's a lot of different people out there. There's a lot of different personalities that people talk about. And no matter who it is, you know, it's fun. It is what it is. A blue, you have a bad habit of saying some really shitty fucking things in the fucking side chats. And, and when you get into, when you, when you are in a stream, a live stream or whatever, I get it. You want to pay, you want to participate. You come in and you do your thing and stuff. And I get it. You know, that's why, like I said, we've had fun over the years. We've had differences. We've had a lot of fun. We've had battles. Just like me and Robbie battle. And see, that's the thing. Robbie battle. I've had... Robbie Battle has banned me more times than I can imagine. I can count. Me and Robbie Battle had a lot of, I had fun with Robbie for a long time. Each time he kept coming back, you know, and he never took anything personal. Well, he, he, he tried to because Robbie's a nice guy. I mean, when I was talking about my mother one time, Robbie was defending my my mother, because I was calling her a fundamentalist Christian and, you know, talking about some of the weird shit that she would say. And Robbie came and was, like, defending my... So, Robbie... And, and, I, and I poked at Robbie over the years, and I think Robbie understands that. He's not a flip-flop. He just changes his mind a lot. But Robbie's a good guy, you know? I mean, and Robbie over the years, I mean, we're not bosom buddies, but we, you know, I can be friends with him on Facebook. He doesn't... I think we're friends on Facebook. I'm not really sure. I see some stuff he posts sometimes, I think, or whatever. But And, and that's a cool thing, you know. But, like, not, not everybody can be friends on Facebook, just like with me and Charlie Miller. <laughs> but even as angry as a lot of people get, and everybody gets angry, you seem to go over the top. And dare I say, it, it's not a good look for you at all. And then, and, and then you're defending your actions because, first of all, I have no idea. I don't give two fucks what, hold on a second, what Billy said to you. I don't give a flying fuck how this conversation got to where it was. Billy's a crazy guy. He's, you know, he's Billy. But what did Billy, what did Billy do? How did Billy, what was it that triggered you? How, how does this come out of your mouth? You hope he got raped by Muslims and set on fire. It would be no loss. And then you call him another boring cloud chaser. You're a liar. Wow. And then... That's shame. You know, and you wonder, Blue, sometimes, like I said, it's a crying fucking shame. And I gotta be the one to fucking tell you this shit. It really is. And I'm probably not the first. Dude. Knock it the fuck off. Listen to some music. Not the banjo. Listen to things that mean stuff. 
You know, I don't like Von Helton. Honestly, in the end, I don't give a fuck about Von Helton. He's got nothing to do with my personal life. It's the internet. Most people understand that. I understand that you got really tight. You got upset. You you were upset like everybody else with the whole uh, Las Vegas shooting and the Sandy Hook thing and nobody died and, and just the Muslims and shit like that. But I, I get that, you know, and, and people people react differently, believe me. People, people react differently. I'm not the kind of guy, I'll joke around with Gary Snowflake and tell people I hate him and stuff like that. I'll be sick and I hope Gary Snowflake's doing fine, you know. I'm doing pretty fine right now. <laughs> but that's not the first time you've done shit like this. Why do you think people get upset, Blue? Why do you think overreacting? I get it. You hate Vaughn. I don't like Vaughn. I'm not really a big fan of Shani and Rev. Personally, myself. I think what they're doing with their life is just hysterically funny. I think what Von Helton is doing with his life is both hysterically funny and <laughs> it's a fucking tragedy. But I would never, like, hope telling someone that you hoped that a group of let's say religious fundamentalists who don't follow Jesus but follow the other guy who are known for doing things to people and stuff and whatever like that, you know you hope that you wanted someone to literally like get fucked in the ass and butt raped and humiliated of course and then set on fire Blue, that's not a good look for you. And then you kept going on in the fucking side chat. I tried to talk to you. There's other people. Dude, like I said, I've known you. I, I knew of you with your caricature and stuff a long time ago, right? So... I'm very aware of the videos you do and, and stuff, and some of your stuff's funny. Some of it's I, the Jason Burns thing. That had to be the longest running episodic thing on YouTube for, and I get that. You know, you're an atheist. I'm an atheist. Von Helton's a shit bag. Shannon and Rev deserve what they get. I get that. Sometimes we don't get along with people. There's personalities. I get that. I curse people out. I used to get drunk as fuck, scream my head off. People remember that. If hmm. Quiet atheist hangouts. <laughs> Some people <clears throat> oh man, if you've ever been if you're still around, if you remember the quiet atheist hangouts, I used to get hammered drunk and just start fucking yelling. If there was a fundamentalist dickhead that came in. Oh holy shit. And there was a few clips and uh, the next day I wouldn't, sometimes I wouldn't, but I'd always have a fucking hangover. But, yeah, um, and, and that kind of got old because I got tired of hangovers and shit, you know, so I started going, yeah, kind of like changed that whole fucking thing. So, um, yeah, people evolve and change and fuck up and do things and say things and sometimes it bites them in the ass. Sometimes it works. I mean, this Grampy Lobster thing is... Has it been the worst? It's been the, I don't know, best thing that's happened to me. You know, I'm having a good time. In my later years, you know, I'm sitting here, a 61-year-old man with blackish blue hair, uh, talking to people. It's, it's fun. I enjoy it. I don't get a much shot at I can't. And that's, it's fine. You make the best and you do with what you have. 
That's what I like about all this stuff and all of you. But blue. Look, dude, I've told you over again, I've never put myself as some moral, I've never, oh, Jesus, I've never claimed to have any fucking type of moral high ground. I've never claimed much. I'm a high school graduate. I do have some college. I got some military behind me and things like that. I've worked and did other things. I sold stuff. I was a salesman. I drove a truck for a while. I've, God, I've done everything but heard fucking shit. I did raise a pig one time in high school when I was at a future promise. But anyway. good but we, we grow over the years you know I've recently uh, found that there's people out there that didn't like me after a few years you know that have at least acknowledged my presence and stuff because I've, I've learned lessons I'm it's like I said I've never claimed to be no morally superior Never going, oops, we should have known. Eh. Sounded like a good idea thing, right? There's been times, and sometimes still, there's times where I don't think what's going to come out of my mouth before I say it. So I, I don't script things. But your script is the same, Blue. You come in, you're nice. And what is this A hey, team? What team are you on? What team are you talking about? I, I'm, I'm not understanding that, Blue, and I'm not saying that to be a dick. I like you, Blue, but you need to knock it the fuck off. You have a way of starting things, like, like I said, you were the one that went around. Hey, you know, Grumpy Lobster? For, oh, oh, God, how long was it? I mean, you tried, you go into people's rooms and start saying shit, people are like, I don't give a fuck at, at a certain point. Well, you know, there were people that said, yeah, grab, you know, sexual lobster, whatever, he's a dick. But after a while, it was like, I don't give a fuck. I don't talk to him. I don't like him. Whatever the fuck. Stop. You know, but, and, and it kind of died out. But it took you a long time, Blue, to just knock it the fuck off. So, w when you don't want to talk to me, you know, like I said, I think that was the fourth time, Blue. I think, and and admittedly, I mean, you even, oh, God, you even, yeah, I got a side with Von Helton on this one. It's never a good, you know, when you do that. You know, coming from a guy that, you know, thinks somehow that people's health is, health problems are, you know, <clears throat> the result of his gods or some shit, so. Yeah, whatever. But you were like the last one to just wouldn't knock it off, wouldn't stop, right? If you want to make jokes about it, I really don't give a fuck at this point. It, it doesn't bother me, Blue. But you come back and you come into rooms and then you start talking shit, you know, telling you if you don't like Billy, if you don't like somebody else, what in the fuck? Did someone say, literally, I want to fucking know? I'm just saying. Folks, if you're not watching this on the official 2018 Grampy Lobster channel, you're getting played. Blue. Chill out. I personally assume the responsibility for coordinating intensive new inquiries into the matter. And I. Sunday morning, 9 a.m. I saw fire in the sky. I felt my heart.
sail through the sky. I've often wished I could fly. The simple life of a bird on the wings. Oh, Lord, I could sing. Take me away. Come on, fly me away. Lift me up so high. We're Catch a glimpse of another dream I turned 